Welcome to webbikeworld.com. This is a quick look at the new Bell Revolver flip-up motorcycle helmet. Please visit webbikeworld.com for the full review of detailed photos of this helmet and many more. Bell has released several new helmets over the last couple of years and we've reviewed them all on webbikeworld.com. With the Revolver, Bell now has a full line of helmets at a wide range of price points and they offer a lot of value for the money. The Bell Revolver is the company's first flip-up helmet. It has a modern angular style that takes some of its cues from the Bell Star and it includes some of the excellent features that Bell has developed. These include the very easy to use click release face shield that's available in a variety of tints and in the Soul FX transition version that we reviewed on webbikeworld.com. The Nutrafog version is standard on the revolver and it has an anti-fog coating that really works. The revolver is currently available in a limited range of colors and it looks sharp in this gloss black although it's unfortunately not a color that shows up very well in a video or photos. The helmet has a nice shape with more style than is usually found in flip-up helmets, and that's a definite plus. The click-release face shield system used on the Bell Star and the Bell Vortex has a micro-click detent that really has a quality feel. It also has a first small opening for defogging and ventilation. The click-release shield is interchangeable with other Bell helmets that use it, so it has the locking tab on the side, but it's non-functional on the revolver. Click-release means that the face shield pops right out as soon as the lever is pushed, and you can see how easy it works. Other manufacturers would do well to use this system as a benchmark. The revolver has an internal sun visor that has a unique engagement system. A rocker lever is located along the bottom of the helmet on the lower left-hand side to position the sun visor up and down. It works well, but the detents aren't quite sorted, making it difficult to position the visor at an intermediate point, so it's pretty much a full-up or full-down proposition. The button to open the rotating flip-up visor is located in the center of the chin bar. The system feels pretty solid and it works well, but it's not quite as smooth as the best flip-ups we reviewed. The button that operates the chin fin isn't located far enough out from the surround, making it difficult to find when wearing thick gloves. But once you do find it, the vent has a good solid feel that snaps open or closed. The revolver is also one of the very few flip-up helmets that actually has vent passages through the chin bar. But the problem here is too much air. The helmet could really use a chin curtain because a lot of air streams up from under the chin bar, making the chin vent almost superfluous. The incoming air also generates some wind noise. There's either an issue with this helmet or a design flaw in the top vents because they don't have a detent to hold the vents open or closed. Also, we think it would have been better if Bell had used a single slider to operate both vents rather than this two-button design. The rear exhaust vents are always open and they have a look that's similar to the design used on the Bell Star. The chin strap on the revolver uses the Bell Magnafusion magnetic keeper with a new stronger magnet that works really well. The liner is fairly comfortable, but there are some specific fit issues on this helmet, so please read the full webbikeroll.com review for more information on that. So that's a quick look at the new Bell Revolver flip-up motorcycle helmet. For all the details, photos, and the full discussion of this helmet and over 150 more, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.